When I first started out, I made fixtures for our CNC mill that's behind me here. It's far less knowledgeable, and this is just 6061 aluminum. It works great, actually, for quite a long time, but after so many different, you know, tightenings over time, this all will tear out. So we've helicoil down in there. You put a steel coil down inside. That's also starting to pull out now. So we're gonna put in the next level, which is an insert version. So we've got to take all these out and then drill it and improve it. We also got some other little upgrades too that I'll show you. One of the problems we have with the fixture is we kind of take up space with just washers and they're getting real banged up. They also fly out all the time. So we've got a new upgrade for that. Okay, we got all the fixture clamps off. And so you can kind of see this one's definitely pulling out pretty good there. That's where we gotta get out those helicoils, which worked okay, but they're just not working anymore. Well, that was easy. So there's a helicoil. These are M4 pit bulls. All of this on this fixture are M4. That's not a very large thread. I think that's some of the problem that there's just not a lot of thread engagement and the repeated, you know, nature of how that works inside of a some aluminum fixture is just you know it doesn't last. I don't think there's anything wrong with the aluminum necessarily. It's the it just needs to be upgraded. So I didn't get any video of removing the helicoils, but I did end up using this helicoil removal tool, and it frankly sucks. And I'm sure there's something better out there. But you whack the end of it where it's blunt, and use the pointy end, and then twist to remove, and it kind of messes up the whole area and sometimes gets them out. Not great, but it did work somewhat. Okay, so we made a few steps forward. We've now got all of the helicoils out. We've drilled out the holes. It's basically for an M8 because we're using M4 on the inside. And I've actually form tapped with the machine, but it didn't really go too deep. We've got a kind of a pretty heavy point on the end right of the form tap which won't focus here focus not at all not gonna do it today so i'm going back and chasing them with a there we go i can focus i'm going back and chasing them with a bottoming uh, hand tap so i've got a few holes to go through but progress is that's what it looks like when the insert's installed and my part works the pit pole works great Now, got this little install tool. Kind of just set their own depth because at some point the little lugs can't go any farther. Now that we're putting the pit bulls back in, this is a pit bull, a little bit shaved on top, but there's a little bit too much to make this flexible enough. When you put it down and in, kind of want to put a spacer sometimes behind it and potentially sometimes below it. So we had these little washer things bent up for us. So they're laser cut and then bent. And so they can actually be bent over another time if they need to be but you drop that in. It's 
we used to use a washer underneath and a washer behind that was cut that always blow around so now kind of got a two-in-one where they don't twist they've got the backup got piece underneath Alright, moment of truth, we're gonna put the aluminum in and see how it fits. These are our pieces of stock. And we take our drill. And torque wrench. Let's do a couple of these. So we need this height to be under 360. Oh, that's pretty good. Got a lot of space to spare. So that means we won't hit it with our end mill when we're cutting our part out. So this worked amazing. That's what it looks like. I'll get the other one in here and show you. All right, so we got op one, op two, and then once they're done, they look like this. And you can see the pattern on the fixture. We need to line up the holes that way. Just the other one. So they're the same part. Sometimes they run two separate parts at the same time. So this is a one and done fixture. If I tighten all these Uniforce clamps, we've got op one, op two, and we run the whole thing at once one and done fixture. We get two parts finished every time we run it. So pretty cool, nice to get this fixed. We've had so many of these stupid clamps be pulled out by just normal use because the aluminum gets torn up over time with the screws going in and out and you're not always as careful as you need to be, but eventually it just wears out. So you gotta replace it. There's a little insert kit, I'll put a link to it, but it worked pretty good. We didn't need either of these two things really because we had those in the machine already because that's what we make with, we have M8 uh, holes in these parts, which is kind of ironic. The inserts, we'll see how they work, but we just had so many pull out over time uh, because we've used this fixture so much that needed it to be replaced and we made some upgrades in the process. So hope that was interesting and maybe helpful. I don't know. See you on the next one.